Hi, this is Certified Master Inspector Don Hawley. Uh, today's What's Wrong With Your House is going to cover truss lift. Truss lift is a little scary when it first happens to you, but it's basically cosmetic. Basically because this particular truss didn't get nailed to the wall. You notice when we pan around here that the uh, other trusses, the other sections of the wall are not moving. It's... Uh, this is not uh, recommended anymore, by the way, nailing the trusses to the, to the top plate. Um, one I built 40 years ago, 45 years ago, that was the uh, common procedure. Unfortunately, we just missed that one rafter. The uh, truss lift itself is uh, something that comes uh, about Thanksgiving every year and goes away about Easter every year. And uh, we're located in Midwest here pretty common uh, problem with trust rafters that aren't properly secured. There are a couple things that you can do on uh, new construction. And we'll talk about that in a second. The uh, cause for the truss lift is the difference in the temperature and humidity inside the house and, and outside the house. The, in our area, outside humidities usually get down around 25%, 20%. Um, Indoor humidity, we try to keep around 45. This uh, thermometer shot here is a little uh, misleading because it was just ra right after a rainstorm. So typically, uh, this happens every winter, and it's a nuisance. And if it's the first time it's happened to you in your new home or a home that you just bought, it's uh, rather scary, but it's not anything to really be concerned about. There are some fixes, however. We'll talk about new construction fixes first. The, uh, the best way, uh, in my opinion, is to use drywall clips. You uh, nail the drywall clip when you install the ceiling drywall. You nail the clip to the wall, and you do not fasten the drywall to the ceiling for about 16 inches out away from the wall. That way, the uh, wall, here's the clip. The wall will, since this takes a couple months to... Uh, change direction the drywall is uh, pretty flexible and it doesn't really hurt anything that's the uh, best solution there are also uh, vinyl strips that you can buy that you uh, nail to the wall and then you screw your drywall to those and that way the drywall is not hooked to the uh, to the rafters and the rafters float free there's also a uh, l-shaped clip that some people purport to be the solution for the rafters. I don't see how it really helps anything. Um, what it does is it allows the rafter to slide up and down like it's going to anyway. Of course, there are a number of things that homeowners, DIYers, and flippers do to solve truss lift that uh, just aren't right. And this is one of them. Just one of many things that you can do that you're not supposed to do. Don't ever, ever, ever modify your trusses without having a truss drawing from an engineer. Hope this uh, helped. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and we'll try to get back to you. Thank you.